Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, if you saw the last video, you will know that I am going to propagate a begonia leaf cutting using this method of the soil with the 50% uh, soil, 50% perlite mix. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it with this experiment because I usually use either water for propagation of Rex begonia leaves or uh, I also use sphagnum moss. But I'm going to try with this soil mixture and then I'm going to keep it in a very small pot with a reservoir just to maintain humidity on the bottom portion of the pot that it moves into once it um, propagates. And we will continue to see how it does. Now, uh, what I have here is some... Um, succulent and cactus mix just a little bit this is the little cup i'm going to be putting this in i made a little slit on the bottom for drainage even though i'm not anticipating there being much water going into this 50 percent soil cactus and succulent and 50 percent pure perlite mixing that in there and just mix it up really good there you go you can see it's nicely mixed and very light and fluffy. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my cup a little more than halfway because I'm going to do a cone cutting and I'll show you what that entails. Okay, so a little more than halfway up, tap it down a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with a water mister so I can dampen the area that the cutting will be laying on top of, okay? I'm not gonna drown it with water, but nice and moist so it can start rooting. Okay, I am going to now take the cone cutting from this leaf uh, cutting of the begonia, and I'm going to cut like this and like this this okay this uh, I can also plant if I want it's such a small part of the leaf it may not make it because this is not going to make as much uh, food for the cutting as this one will because it's got a lot of leaf on it so I could always try to propagate this somewhere maybe I'll put it back in the water see what happens but I'm not going to hold my breath but this is really what we're working with the reason why this is good to do cone cuttings is because everywhere that you have one of these main veins, there's a potential plant that will be growing out of the cut vein. So we have really one or two here, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. That's, the, that's what's possible. Whether they all propagate or not, we'll have to, it's, it's yet to be seen. But when you put this in as a cone cutting like this, all of these little plants that propagate will come up and make a nice bushy little young plant instead of it just being one plant coming out of one vein or one petiole, one leaf stem. So I'm going to put this in like that, just kind of situate it in there. I don't want the whole thing buried, so I'm going to situate it like this, okay? And I'm going to pour the rest of my soil on top of that cut piece there. Okay, like that. Let me just shake this down. Okay. I don't need to put all of this in. There's just a little bit left, which is fine. And now, again, I'm going to spray this just a tad on top so it's not like dry pockets. Okay, that's good enough. And I'm not just going to leave this like this. What I'm gonna do is, I like to reuse fast food cups, plastic cups from fast food places. Here's one, okay? And what I do is I take it like this, I put this in the cup, and then I cover it. This is like a mini little greenhouse for your cutting. As you can see, it's gonna stay nice and humid in there, but not waterlogged okay and I'm gonna keep it under the lights because that leaf is gonna need to make as much food as possible until it has roots of its own um, or at least the little plantlets that grow have roots of their own but that's all there is to it okay 
Now, what I'm gonna do when this does propagate, when I do get some, some roots and some cuttings, I am then gonna transfer the cutting to a little plastic pot, okay? I'm gonna keep it relatively small because I don't want a huge pot or at least a pot that's too big or very big for the cuttings because it's gonna hold too much moisture and then there's a good possibility I can get the rot that I've always struggled with for Rex begonias. Even though I have a lot of perlite, which will lessen the chances of that, I don't wanna take that chance. Um, what's been working for me is smaller pots, root-bound Rex begonias, um, but with a reservoir that's not, it's not sitting in the reservoir, but a reservoir below that keeps humidity at the very bottom of that pot. So we'll see how this does. Again, let me open this so I can show you. This is the cutting. And usually what people do is they curl it into a cone. I could have done that. Um, I didn't, you know what? Let me, let me do that just because that's what I'm used to doing. So I'm going to curl it up a little bit. Actually, I don't wanna disturb it too much. I think it's fine the way it is. Let me just spray it down a little bit more. Just a little bit and that should be it now I will do a follow-up video to show you guys how this does but if you have any questions just reach out this one over here is propagating in sphagnum these guys over here did really well in sphagnum moss as you can see I did the same situation uh, just in sphagnum and I know that sphagnum works I've done it for years but I wanna try it with the soil mixture and then maintaining the plant in that smaller pot. See how it does, because the larger plants that I have, the parents, they do very well in that smaller pot setup. Anyway, any questions, just reach out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell if you wanna be notified and I will see you in the very next video.